Okay, hey y'all. So before we jump into this vlog, I cannot believe I'm bringing you this information. There's, 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 there's a sponsor of today's video. And it's freaking Liquid IV. I know. I literally couldn't handle it. So they reached out to me regarding an affiliate program and then we were going to do this sponsorship together. I'm freaking out because y'all, I've been using Liquid IV this whole, 2022 has been my Liquid IV year. I've been obsessed with it. I love it so much. It's so good for hydration and hydrating. And I really like it because it's been helping me use and drink a lot more water in the day. Like I'm talking, I got, you know, I got influenced by TikTok about many things. One of them was my water bottle and it's 40 ounces. And I put away like three of those a day because of liquid IV because it tastes so good. And the thing that I like is, you know, there are a lot of different things you can mix into your water to give it flavor. Um, this one promotes more electrolytes, which is awesome. And so it hydrates you faster and more, like there's more of a hydration going on um do i know the science behind it no but do i feel it working yes <laughs> like it actually does make a difference especially when i'm like going on walks or working out or as i'm about to go do in this vlog which you will see later on because this has to go at the beginning i'm gonna be staining a bunch of wood out in the backyard and i'm gonna need hydration and liquidation nope liquids <laughs> And that's where Liquid IV comes in. So you guys already know, like I've been recommending them for months now. Obviously I recommend them now, but now I get to bring you a link and a code to get some off on your purchase. And I highly recommend. My favorite ones so far have been the acai, berry, and then fruit punch. They are so good. And compared to like other things that you can put, like I was saying, into water to give it flavor, it just... It doesn't have that chalky taste, which is something that every other brand that I've attempted to use does have that chalky taste. And it also doesn't hydrate as well as this one is doing for me. So it's just all around like 10 out of 10. Love this brand, love the product, highly recommend it. Like I said, Acai Fruit Punch are my favorites. They did send me strawberry and lime. So I'm gonna try those in the vlog, but I just wanted to let you know beforehand if you want to scoop up some of your own links are down below code is down below please go do so let me know what flavors you get if you're already into liquid ivy tell me what you try if i should try other flavors i know there's a cotton candy one that's out now i haven't tried it before if you have let me know if i should but thank you so freaking much to liquid ivy for sponsoring this video i legitimately can't even believe i'm like saying that sentence i am such a fangirl for this brand like i love I love liquid IV so much. Like it's literally in my daily routine and I can't believe now that I am working with it. It's crazy. Anyways, let me stop being going. Let me let y'all go so you can get started on the vlog and get started on staining and then I'll meet you in the middle. Okay, okay, bye. from my window sun's coming up like the day before you're like a stone on my pillow i don't make a sound when i shut the door your favorite music on all the way baritone yeah. shut the lights go in front we can spend all day in bed hello vlog how are you doing today it is a ripe tuesday and i am thinking about going to grab a Dutch Bros <laughs> drink because I want to get a lot of reading done. And so I've been getting the Golden Eagle, but, 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 but I have saved the responses that I got. Or have I not? Or am I full of it? Yesterday? No, not yesterday. Last seven days. It's so weird how Instagram decides to save stories. Like what is the, what's the science behind that? Because it saved the one right before that, 
but it didn't save the actual story. You know what we'll do? We'll do some of this. And then we're gonna put it on Instagram. You see, you see, it's mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What Dutch Bros drink should I try next? Okay, so we're just gonna put that into the universe and now let's talk about books. So the first book that I am currently reading is the second book in the Scrabble and Secret series. I think that's what it's called. The first one was Murder at Pirate's Cove. I'm reading the second one, which is this one, which I am not 100% sure on the title, to be honest with you. But I am about 70, 80% into this, and I love it. I love it. I think our main character is so fun, and he is so, like, witty and, like, very quick-witted. I don't know. I just love it. And most cozy mysteries that I have read are either in first person of just one person, the main character, or third person, but not omniscient. So third person limited. Obviously limited. Hello, POVs. So this one is third person limited because we only know what our main character is doing and thinking and saying, but it's not in his head. And I thought I wouldn't like that, but actually I'm kind of into it. Uh, it was really easy for me to switch over and just not even, not even care which one we were in. So I am really liking it. Uh, and the first one, he moves to this small coastal town and inherits a house that needs like a lot of work done and then a bookshop that is all about thrillers and mysteries and like true crime. So he's running this bookstore store, <laughs> trying to, you know, get it back up and running from his great, I think it's like his great, great, great aunt or something that he inherited it from. It always is like that in cozies. And he starts to kind of have a thing with the chief of police who may or may not be into it. I think he is. Uh, he was widowed like a while ago and then just never dated anyone else when he moved to this town. Like he had a bunch of people that were interested or whatever and he just like never entertained it. So, mm-hmm. And we're learning more about that in this book. This book, we have Ellery, that's our main character. His ex comes to town. And basically in this universe, his ex is like Stephen King, pretty much, or very similar. He's a horror writer and he buys this like super old haunted house on the island to write a story about the case that happened there. But instead of make it like, you know, someone killed someone, it's a demon possession, which love the Conjuring trilogy. And he decides to try to win Ellery back, I guess, while also trying to like interview the town about this murder that happened. And things don't go so well for him. Another one bites the dust if you get my drift. So I'm gonna finish that one today. Very excited, very liking it, very much gonna buy the third one. I just talked to Gav about it the other day and he already bought the first one. So I hope he's liking it because, ooh, there's nothing more embarrassing than thinking that you did a good job with a recommendation. And then the person is like, mm -mm, honey, embarrassing, 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 embarrassing. So uh, I also really want to uh, read the first Percy Jackson book because we obviously just got that announcement yesterday and it's perfection. And if anybody has the urge to say anything about it, don't. That's a literal child. Just don't do it. Who is that person that is in my head where I'm like, don't do it? <laughs> Who says that? Because I remember it from a Zavid video, but I don't know where he got it from. But don't do it. <laughs> Seriously. Ser What's wrong with you? Apparently people were already commenting a whole bunch because he's blonde. Man, if that is the most inaccurate thing in this, we're already off to a better start than the movies, okay? Like, shut up. <laughs> I don't care how much the series means to you. He's 12. So, anywho, end rant there. I'm gonna read that book today after I finish this cozy, and I'll probably start on the next in this cozy mystery series. I'm just really in my cozy mood right now. I don't, I don't know why, I just am. So, uh, it's supposed to rain really bad in hail, so I moved Annabeth's, um, by the way, I don't know if I ever said this, Annabeth was named after Annabeth from the Percy Jackson series, so. 
hopefully she's in the show. Fingers crossed she gets the role, you know? Uh, but we moved her crate into my office. Not the whole thing. That outdoor thing is like way too much. That's like huge. But the little, like we, I bought an emergency one and I built it and it's basically just, so we're gonna screen our porch in. So when it is like really rainy or whatever and we don't want her in the pen while it's like raining like that because it's just, I mean, open to the air, we will put her in like her emergency bunker is what I'm calling it. <laughs> I kind of want to paint it black and put like a little sticker on it. This is emergency bunker, like use my Cricut to like cut out vinyl that's glittery. <laughs> this is bunker. Basically, I am casting Annabeth as a prepper, doomsday specifically. Uh, but anyways, when we screen the porch and we'll have it sitting on the porch and she can just like be blooped right on into it with some lettuce, she'll eat food coma, have a great time, won't even know the storm's happening. But we don't have it screened in yet. That's a project. I don't know if we're doing it this weekend or next weekend. I don't know. Whatever. You'll see when it happens because I'll start reading outside. I'm so excited because my egg chair, which I'm not going to build until we screen the porch in so that it's not exposed to all the elements of Texas tornado storm weather. It's not fun for it. But anyways, it's in my office right now. So I am gonna go jet and get Dutch Bros super fast, speedy, speedy Gonzalez, if you will, and then come back just so I can monitor the weather and see if she's gonna, you know, need to be moved on in with the swiftness. Um, I don't know if that will happen. We will see. Uh, I also might drop by my mom's house to pick up some books that I bought off of Instagram. I think they finally came in. Uh, they're just more special editions. That's it. That's all. And um, I'm gonna go now get the things. Oh, we should check what people said, what we should buy. Let's see. Okay, two people responded because I have zero patience and both said caramelizer. And did I already download the Dutch Bros app? Yes, it got me so quickly. I just didn't think it was gonna happen so fast, and yet here we are. So let's look up what the caramelizer is, cause I don't, I don't like mocha. So I don't know about all that, friends. Love you the most, though. Uh, I'll look into the menu and I'll let you know what I get. Okay? Okay. Okay. I'm back, Jacob. Leave me alone. So I have a Goldsboro book. Woo. And then I also have, I think, one of the special editions of the Grady Hendrix books that I bought. So let's open it. Um, I ordered, this is what I was thinking was coming. I ordered an Illumicrate edition of Strange the Dreamer and Muse of Nightmares from someone on Instagram. And they never sent me the tracking. And they keep saying that they gave it to me, but literally I could scroll my messages and they never gave me the tracking. And now they're not answering and they gave me a bunch of reasons, like personal reasons. I'm like, <laughs> I just want the tracking number because it's coming from England or is it Wales? I'm not sure which one um, they live in, but it's coming from over there. And I'm like, I just want to know where it is. And they keep telling me that I'm going to have to figure out customs. And I'm like, okay, but where's the tracking number? <laughs> Like, I just feel like I'm losing my mind. So, that was two months ago. Messaged them again asking for the tracking number before I drove back from my mom's here. <laughs> Hopefully I get that, but I have a feeling I'm not going to. So we'll see how that goes, but uh, I don't know what you're supposed to do in that situation, cause like, I mean, I have zero proof that the thing was even sent. So like, honestly, I'm living on a prayer right now. Uh, but anyways, this is special editions done by SST Publishing, and I don't know which one this is. Jacob, here, here, you can have this box over there, okay? How about that? He's such a sniffy boy. But there are these special editions. I have the horror story one already, and I'm very excited these because they're so creepy and weird and the art style is just very different than anything I've ever seen. <gasps> is this my best friend's exorcism? <gasps> oh my god, I love this cover. I love the spine the most. Okay, so here is my best friend's exorcism. This is so creepy, but look at that spine. Like that spine is everything. Oh my god. 
I am absolutely obsessed. Oh, and this book without the cover, fucking slap my, never mind. But call me Chandler Ainsley. <laughs> I won't finish that whole thing, but boot me on the head and call me Chandler Ainsley. Cause I might just have this without the cover on it. It looks so cute, but I really do like the cover as well. So this is like the whole the inside and then we have the whole spread of the cover. And this is the one that is set in the 80s and this girl, her friend gets possessed when they think that they dropped acid, but they really did not drop acid. It was fake. Um, but her friend goes, ooh, I'm number, oh, this is so cool. The way that it's signed by Grady and the artists on the cassette tapes is so cool. Anyways, um, basically they go camping and one of them gets lost and they find her and she got possessed by a demon. And that's what happened. And then it, it's up to her friend to figure out how to exercise her. And the way that it's done, like the ending scene is freaking hilarious. This book, is so good, so good. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. Um, apparently, Grady said in the, like I know him, but I'm not gonna say Hendrix, cause that sounds weird. So Mr. Grady said that he wrote this one in the 80s from a teenage point of view, where all the adults were like dumb. And then he wrote Southern Book Club's Guide as almost a response to himself, I guess. Um, showing that like adults are just doing the best that they can like they're not teenagers think that they're the worst ever but it's like they're honestly now that i'm not a teenager and now that i'm like i guess technically an adult like that's the next that's the next level um i can i can see that no one's an adult <laughs> everyone's just bumping along and then suddenly like you're at the front of the line and you're supposed to be making the calls and you're like um I don't know what to do about a possessed child. You know, just adulthood things. All right, so this Goldsboro one, I wanna say, I don't order individual books from them. So I think that this is just the sub box. And let me tell you, I've never had better wrapping than Goldsboro. They seriously give you like an entire freaking roll. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Two queens with a powerful secret will enchant the age. Okay, go off. So this is the book. Two sisters are sent to marry strangers far from home. Soon they will become the most influential women of the age, but their journey to power did not begin with marriage. It began with a book. I love books about books. God, this is beautiful. What in the world? Oh. There are 2,000 copies of this, and I am copy 613. What do you think about that? But this is what the edges look like. I think they're very pretty. I love the cover. I love the edges. I don't love the spine. Um, it kind of looks like an old book, I guess, but not enough that I think it's pretty. <laughs> but anyways, oh, wow. Never mind. Taking it all back. That's beautiful. So there you go. That's that. That's, that's that, mm -hmm. that is that. These are the books that I got. Very random range of books, but uh, you know, I'm excited about both of them. So now that that is done, I have thankfully got the vlog up for today. Um, I think I'm just gonna chill and drink this coffee. Oh, I got the double torture. Yeah, I still don't like mocha, so. Am I gonna drink it? Yeah, of course I am. Um, but I'm gonna make a croissant right now so that I in, at least enjoy the time somewhat. Let's go feed my children and say hello to Annabeth. She's like really enjoying this weather right now because it's humid, but not super humid. It's just, Texas gets really dry sometimes, but because it's supposed to rain. Uh, and when I went over to my mom's, she, was saying that uh, the weatherman isn't looking too happy with what the weather looks like. So we're probably not going to the movie today, which kind of sucks, but I understand because they're supposed to be golf ball size. Hail, what the hell? <laughs> All right, so 
I'm gonna go. Ginger has beckoned me to come feed her, so I'm gonna answer that because it's not pretty when I don't, and I'll, I'll see you later. Okay, ignore whatever this is. I don't cook, obviously. These are frozen. But these croissants, y'all, have changed my life. They're vegan. They're, all, they're not gluten-free. We're still looking for gluten-free ones, but they are from Whole Foods. And they're like the only reason I'm still going there other than juice. But y'all, they're so good. Granted, I messed this one up. That's me, that's on me. Mrs. Whole Foods would never, she, she would never do that to you. But you just put this in the oven at 350 for like 20 minutes. These croissants are better than literally anywhere else I've ever gone. Like they are so freaking good. So I just wanted to put you on with that because I'm addicted. So let's just like get more people into it, you know? Every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight through the night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just us two. Okay, hello guys. So uh, I do have two packages that just got delivered while I was filming my spring TBR video, which hopefully went up on Sunday, but it's me, so who knows if it did. Uh, I don't want to go get them right now because I'm about to leave to go get Chipotle for lunch, and it's a late lunch because I think it's like, ooh, yeah, it's 2.30, so not ideal, but... We're here. At least I remember to eat lunch this time. That's all I gotta say. But I do want to show you a book. Can I show? Well, you're my captive audience, so just don't click out. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I bet you're not ready. Oh yeah. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're probably wondering. Oh my God, Olivia, is that the Goldsboro edition of the Starless Sea? And I would be like, yeah. Random citizen. It surely freaking is. And is it signed and numbered? Oh. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh, it is. It is! And Gavin, if you're looking at me right now, first of all, hey. Second of all, don't. Don't judge me or my child. Because I love this book so much, and now I want to reread it, but I have too much to do. I have too many, I, unless. <laughs> That's one thing that I got in the mail. But uh, I have been reading another book, as you do in these vlogs, and that book is here. What's it called? I don't know. It's the next book in the Cozy Mystery series that I've been reading. Did I even update yesterday that I finished the second one? Because I did, and I really liked it, and I thought it was cute. I love cozal, cozal? Coastal Cozy Mysteries. I really do. I really love them a lot. And this one is that, so I think that's why I like it. But this one has to do with, like, some elite secret masquerade ball. Shut up! That sounds great. My camera's freaking out. I think it's because I've been using it too much and now it's like, it's too hot in here. And I'm like, oh my God, don't flatter me. But it really does have a temperature gauge. And I, I think that I'll let it cool down. And if those packages out there contain anything that we give a hoot about, I'll let you know. Um, somehow I doubt that they will, but we all have dreams. I also wanted to say that this whole uh, weekly vlog thing for the rest of the month, well, actually up until Spring Fling Halloween daily vlogs, might become a little bit more lifestyle-y uh, than just reading because I am reading the Percy Jackson series for its own separate vlog. So I was originally just going to put that in here, but now I'm like, why would I not just put a whole vlog together for it? So that's what I'm going to do there. Non-spoiler. There won't be spoilers. And if there are, it'll be marked very clearly and at the very end. So don't, don't even worry about it. Are you worried? You shouldn't be because I told you not to be. Doesn't that work for anxiety? Works for mine. <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna go get food. I'm gonna go get these packages and I'm gonna go get a grip because I am so spacey right now. Another coffee, probably. But water, hydration, no. Coffee, yes. Let's go get coffee. <laughs> also, speaking of my life, um, I had to move Annabeth's, this is her bunker. I am, I'm not gonna paint it because I just realized I don't want to do that much work, but I am gonna label it somewhere, maybe there or here, that this is like, <laughs> my partner was like, you should label it on the side, Y2K bunker. And I'm like, ooh, 
that's gonna bring back memes. But uh, yeah, I had to bring it in here because it was storming and hailing so bad last night that there was absolutely no way she could stay outdoors. But now it's freaking sunny as can be. I can't stand Texas, but I do love this weather. Also, look at that view. I mean, are you kidding? Okay, let me stop bragging about my kids. I gotta go. I gotta go get food. I don't have time. What am I doing? I just can't stop looking at it. Look at all those, all those books of the same height. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, I had to put my hair up because it's hot. It's too hot. But I wanted to show you, I got plants for Annabeth's enclosure outside. Um, they're two Boston ferns. I got them from Etsy. Expensive because you have to pay for shipping for a freaking plant. But these are so nice. Like, I'm so excited. I got her two of them. And then I also, someone tell me what the hell's going on with this plant. So I got this dude. First of all, we got this from Anthropology because we were just like, that's a vibe. But then I got this plant and this was supposed to go in her enclosure too. But what the heck is happening here? What are all these? Are these things that I, are these roots? Can I take these off and create more children? What? But I like this. So this one might stay inside. <laughs> Sorry, Annabeth. Um, Mainly because I don't want her to eat these. She will absolutely eat these. So I need to uh, see what that, what, what that is. I'm gonna post on Instagram and find out. But anyways, oh my God. If you know who Brittany Broski is, that literally was like that angle. I'm back with Chipotle, so I'm gonna eat that and probably edit some of my video that I need to. And I'm gonna put Real Housewives up on that TV. Whoop, 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 over there yonder. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I got Mel watching. The first season of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, a trooper, a trooper to go all the way back. To be honest, it makes me want to go all the way back. I'm not going to though, because I don't want to go back to Munchausen's Gate. Although that season, that was tea, that was tea. But I don't, I don't think it, unless, no. <laughs> you know what, I might, I might, I might, why not? You know what, I will, okay. So actually, I'm gonna go restart that season because I'm kind of over Miss Erica right now, so. I don't want to rewatch all of her seasons like I was planning on doing because she's in season 12, obviously, and she is already a mess, a muck, a muck, a muck, a muck. She is just coming for Garcelle, who I kind of want to read Garcelle's book. Maybe I'll get that, but I don't know. If she narrated it, it'd be a done deal. I'd get it. I love when authors narrate their own books. I think that's the coolest thing, but um, I'm actually going to eat right now and then do all that, and then we'll talk later.
hello happy Thursday yes that is the day of the week that it is awesome so I just got back from Home Depot which y'all saw and we bought a bunch of wood a bunch of things that go along with that whatever plants that's the part that I was really there for and uh, this is the expansion of the Annabeth enclosure aka my tortoise if you haven't met Annabeth She's already in the blog. Hello, what are you doing? Uh, great girl, great girl. Was my brother's, now mine. Love it. So, um, her indoor enclosure is still in my office. I think, honestly, because it's still rainy season, it's probably gonna stay there, so I'm gonna clear out this area right here, which is all my packing stuff for Pango Books, and just slide her on over there so she's near a window, and it's kind of a little bit out of the way, but, that's not what we're doing. Today, what we're doing is staining all that wood because can I build things? No, super good with Ikea, super good. And her little hutch thing got here, so I will be building that, so I'll probably show that, but I am staining it because that is what I can do. Although these boards are eight feet tall and I am uh, eight feet not, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Only great, probably hopefully, but I am going to stay in it. I'll show a little bit of that. I mean, it's not that interesting. I'm literally just, you know, but I am going to be listening to an audiobook, and that is going to be this one. I don't know what it is. It's in Misfortune book 12, I think. So I'm just going to listen to this. I already downloaded it, got it on my Audible app. I'm going to use my headphones. A couple of y'all were asking in the last vlog what headphones those were. I'm not proud of the ones they are, and if Mel is watching this, or if anyone goes and tells Mel, I will hold it against you for the rest of your life. But she absolutely told me not to buy them, and then I bought them the next day. But they're the Apple ones. The Apple Maximus? I don't know. I think it's just called Max. But is it Maximus? Kind of makes it worth the price point. Uh, they are expensive. TikTok got to me. I'm not proud of it. It's where I'm at, though. So, <laughs> that's, that's that. That's what I did with those. Uh, my justification? I sold a bunch of used books. I'll buy this so I can listen to audiobooks. I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. But... I have my biker shorts on. That was a way to show you. Camp Weekend Ween is with us. I'm going to be listening to this book. I don't know what it's about. I just know it's the 12th book. It's the first book after they've kind of done like a pretty big shift in the plot. Like kind of took out the main point of like conflict. So don't know where it's going to go. Excited though to listen to it. I love these audiobooks. I wish that I hadn't started them because I would read and fly by in these cozy mysteries on my Kindle so fast, but these audiobooks are so freaking good. Like the voice actor, the, the southern accents, they sound like real southern accents. They don't sound like, you know, Jim Bob Joe. Like, you know what people do? Like the Raven boys. I like that audiobook a little bit for nostalgic reasons because I didn't know what I didn't know yet when I listened to that and I thought I was having a good time. I wasn't, but it sounds like that most of the time. But this one, this narrator, mm -mm, she knows how to do it. She knows how to do it. So, anywho, Jake and I are going to head outside. He doesn't know it yet. He's going to be very excited that he gets to stay out there for just ever. Uh, and we're going to do a couple coats and I'm just going to listen to my audiobook while I do that. And then... We will build up her empire. Um, I have to order some topsoil though because she needs specific organic topsoil in her thing. She's a bougie queen and uh, this Home Depot didn't have it this time which sucks but I will find one. Maybe she's more of a Lowe's girl. I mean we all should be. The Home Depot is just the thing that was like really close <laughs> and I didn't want to drive like so. Listen when we had the wood in this car let me tell you it was so not a fun ride home mainly because it was like right up against the gear shift and I'm like shift like, bear, like this like this like holding it like this it was not good I didn't like it and if the wood had shifted we would have just whoop right into neutral so yeah but you know what I'm I'm gonna do first I'm actually gonna try the lime what do I want to try the strawberry I'm gonna try the strawberry liquid IV because those are two flavors I haven't tried yet I'm very excited about so let's go to that. Hello, Ramona. I can't shake the simple 
Put my hair up. I looked like a school principal, but that's fine. Oh no, Fabletics is emailing me. You're not gonna suck me in again. Yes, they are. Here are my giant headphones. This is so lame. I know it is, but anytime there's a flying insect, I do this moment. Okay, so I don't want to do that every time that there's a flying insect because um, we live in an area now that has a lot of flying insects, and it's just gonna be my life. So. I have noise canceling headphones that I definitely set on noise canceling because I'm in my backyard. And you know what? If I get sliced and diced in my own backyard, because I normally don't wear noise cancellation when I'm not, you know, at home and stuff, um, what, what could I have done to prevent that? You know, that's just up to him. So uh, I'm going to put on the noise cancellation so I don't have to hear any of these little buggies. And we're going to stain this, and then while that's drying, we'll come in, start building the little hut hatch thing, go back out, stain, in, out, in, out, in, out. We're gonna be listening to, it is called Reel of Fortune, while we're doing it. And I hope you guys are pumped and ready to join. Ow. <laughs> My battery is on 22%, but I'll say this, I haven't charged these all week. I charged them Sunday night, that's it. They've lasted me to Thursday. That's kind of insane. Like my um, AirPods that like go in your ears, they, one of them just stopped charging and I'd have to hold it down in the case to make it charge, it was ridiculous. And the other one was like 100%, and, but it was a lie, straight from the pit of hell. So now I have reliable and they're green, hello. Okay, let's, let's, let's go stay in. For all in this, I stand alone. Show me where the Indian goes. We also got a lemon and lime tree, and I'm so excited. Okay, still watching Real Housewives up there. I've got my son there. And then this is the hut that I bought. So it has this little guy that opens and it goes down like this and then she can go in and it lifts from the top if I just need to check, make sure she's there or whatever. And it has these little guys. Oh God, this was a bad angle to do this from. That will prop it open if I want it to. But I just think it's so cute. And then so I'm gonna put some stuff in here for her to like burrow into if she wants to just put it probably up to like meeting that but i'm gonna bury it in the ground so that it hides the legs so that it's not up so that she won't like you know fall on either side of the ramp um and i think it's gonna be really nice i think she's gonna like it a lot uh once she figures out what the heck it is because it's like a little escape and plus it's gonna offer like a lot of shade which is gonna be good and she will like that. But yeah, I just thought it was really cute. Okay, hi guys. So it is Friday at two, three o'clock really. Um, I just got home from watching Morbius with my mother and let's talk about it because wow, did this movie have potential and wow, did it not meet it for me at least. So I don't, I'm not a person that watches movies like critically at all. I read books that way, even when I don't want to sometimes, 
but I am so good at detaching my brain when I am watching movies and whatnot because like I just, I go to the movie theater to have a good time. And honestly, when I go to the theater to watch a movie, you know, popcorn, Sour Patch Kids, watermelon only, hello, and a nice big old Coke, I'm gonna have a better time and it's probably gonna be a better experience than if I had watched that movie at home. If I had watched that movie at home, wouldn't have watched the movie at home, let me put it that way, would have turned it off <laughs> or just been on TikTok. It did not hold my attention at all. It was so boring. <clears throat> we kept getting like to the crescendo and then it would just flatline every time. And there was just no development in anything. And I feel like there were a lot of extra parts that definitely could have been cut out. Um, I don't understand why Matt Smith's character was so developed in comparison to the literal main character or even the love interest and their relationship in general. Because the only reason there was any inkling that they were gonna get together was because that's just the formula. You know what I mean? Like that's why I assumed it would happen, not because there was any foundation laid or anything that actually lended itself to like giving us, you know, the evidence that that was gonna go down. So, um, okay. Jared Leto though, super pretty guy, very pretty. Kind of looked like Jesus, well like the Christian, you know, the Western adaption of that. But uh, I don't know, like I think that there's a lot of potential. I think it could be like a really interesting addition to the Marvel universe and I don't hate it. I honestly don't even think the acting was bad. I really don't. The love interest, she was from Good Omens. Absolutely loved that show. And I, I think she's a great actress. I even think Jared Leto, I don't think he was bad in this movie. I think the writing was bad. I just, I don't think it was good. I feel like we didn't get any kind of characterization. Honestly, they just kind of threw us into the story after giving like the backstory of the childhood thing and then just ran with it and it was, I don't know. It feels like, okay, okay. So, hear me out. I'm a big fan of fan fiction. I am even bigger fan of published fan fiction. Love the love hypothesis. However, fan fiction really heavily relies on you being a fan of that world already that's been created that we are now, you know, creating the fan fiction of. It feels like fan fiction of Marvel. So it feels like they were relying on you knowing all of the basis of the universe, all of the way that things work, the, the world that we're in, the fact that, yeah, this is exactly how vampire bats work, even though it's not at all. And I just, I feel like it, it was like a fan fiction of the Marvel Universe creating its own, I think pretty cool, maybe anti-hero or even like villain, or let me not compare him to Loki because I am a Loki girl, but I don't, I'm not interested in the Loki girls coming for me. But I feel like he could have the same vibe of like, he's not technically a good guy, but his heart's in the right place kind of thing. AKA my type, hello Bucky Barnes, like love it. Um, but I just don't think that they did anything worthwhile in it. Like, I don't know, I don't know. Like if you went into this and you had never seen a Marvel movie and then all of a sudden there's an end screen, two end scenes, like a, a, alluding to the fact that they're going to have some kind of part where they bring Morbius into the Marvel universe for real, for real, I'm like, you would have no idea that this was a Marvel movie. It, it was not up to par. There have been some bad Marvel movies, but I feel like there's a certain feel and vibe to them. And like, for example, my partner and I are talking about Venom. Is Venom like <laughs> good? Not really, but did Tom Hardy do the damn thing? Yes, absolutely. Like he really put his whole heart as he <laughs> He put his whole heart into that role. And I think that he had a lot of fun and you could really tell that he was having fun with it. And that was great. And I even liked the part in this movie where um, Leto said, I am Venom, but then he didn't say just kidding. And that would have been a lot funnier. I wish he had said that like it did in the previews, but I, I like it. I liked Venom more though, let me, let me be clear. But I like the idea of this hero better. 
Um, I just wish that it had been more, I don't know, it was just wasn't very cohesive. It felt like we were just getting the main chunks without anything bridging each of these huge parts of the movie together. Um, which is why it feels more like a fan fiction to me because it's very, fan fiction relies a lot on the fandom adding into it and putting things into it. And it's a very like community based thing, which is great. That's why I love it. But I didn't go to this for that. So that's why I'm a little let down. But I do want to see more. Um, if you have like the stubs pass for AMC, because that's why I went, I would say it's worth one of your tickets. Like go see it. Why not? You get three a week. What the heck? But would I pay full price? You would catch me on the $5 Tuesdays. Mm -hmm. You surely would. Mm -hmm. You would. Full price for popcorn only. Um, but I'm so excited for Doctor Strange. And also, I'm a little bit like... At that end scene. Now that we have Doctor Strange coming up. Um, I have to say though, I know a lot of people are trashing Jared Leto in this. Listen, not even comparable to his role of the Joker. That was embarrassing. <laughs> That should have never happened. Uh, not good. But I think he I think he did well. Like, I don't think he is a bad actor. He doesn't sound like a great guy, but I don't know him. But I think that he was good in this movie. I just, I really think it was a lot of the execution um, on the writer's behalf. And I don't know, maybe the director. I need to go see what, you know, they also worked on other movies and see if it's a running theme or if it's just this one. But I thought individually the actors were pretty good. Him and Matt Smith did really good together. Got a little gay, was like, are we going this route? Didn't, kind of disappointed, but whatever. Um, and the one thing though, the love interest at the very end, giving Bella at end of Breaking Dawn part one, I was like, now why, why you do that? What is that for? Why, 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 why? Let the man have one thing in his life. <laughs> His love interest. <laughs> that really wasn't built in, but whatever. Okay, anyways, so I um, don't know if you can tell, but I have a massive headache. <laughs> so I just used all my energy for this update. Love that. And Jake and I are having a bachelor weekend. And by that, I mean just Friday night because my partner is going out uh, with a couple friends after work. So I am going out to the living room with Jake and Ginger and Annabeth is right here we built we hmm. i stained partner built uh these lids for her enclosure and i think they look really good and i'm very excited about them but uh, tomorrow we have gutter people coming to hopefully install gutters on the house because rain season has not been kind thus far as far as flooding goes in our backyard and the tortoise cage which is why we have the indoor stuff but um yeah, I think that's it. And I think Sunday is going to be like a relaxed day. So tonight though, I'm definitely going to read a bunch. I'm going to read the cozy mystery book that I've been reading in that series that I've been really loving that I highly recommend that you should pick up right now. Are you picking up right now? Oh, great. Thank you. Um, but for now I'm going to go make like a little snack and it is bachelor night. So I can just do whatever I want for dinner. I love, I love that. I am literally living like a frat boy. Because I'm like, oh, I can have whatever I want for dinner. What pizza place am I going to order from? And do we have any beer? <laughs> Anyways, I am going to go take my makeup off, have a bit of a lie down. Yeah. And uh, honestly, probably what's going to happen is I'm going to make a frozen meal because I can't cook at all. And uh, I'm going to make some coffee and then do a bit of uh, Real Housewives binging, I think. I think that'll be good. Jake, you ready to go? He's already asleep. Dang. You know it's bad when the little click doesn't work. But yeah, we're gonna head out, so I'll talk to you later. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Um, I tried on my new Fabletics jacket. Kind of obsessed with it. And then I have my workout, because I'm about to go on the treadmill. But I wanted to update you, because I got a bunch of books in the mail, because Pango Books has become a problem for me. <laughs> Here's the stack. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just go through them, okay? No, I didn't make the bed. Don't mind her. But uh, one of these I have already read. Actually, two of them I've read. But this one is Murder on Pirate's Cove. This is the cozy mystery series I'm currently in the middle of and reading in these weekly vlogs with you. 
and the person who I bought this from actually left me a note and it was so sweet and thank you for leaving a note in the book. I did not even think about the fact that people might um, recognize <laughs> like my handle and stuff when I bought books on here. So don't witness the actual addiction that's happening right in front of you, but also like thank you for contributing and having your books available to me. Um, the next one I got was Welcome to the Neighborhood. This one, super sale because it was like a little dented, but this is about a mom who moves to this new neighborhood and she is like going through all of the drama of like the PTA. This is the thing that got me. A street defined by the ever shift defined by the blah, blah, blah. A street defined by the ever shifting alliances of PTA moms, real housewife contenders, and preteen cliques. It just sounds like suburban drama. Next up, I got two thrillers. I don't know anything about them, but I loved the cover of both of these so much. The first one is As the Wicked Watch. I just love this cover. I don't know anything about it. It might be a detective mystery. Oh, it's a start to a thriller series. So uh, that'll be interesting. Oh, in which a reporter unravels a disturbing mystery around the deaths of two young black women, the work of a serial killer terrorizing in Chicago. Oh, not a serial killer. But this is a beautiful cover. Can't even lie to you. I love when there's greenery. And that does sound interesting. Uh, I just had heard a couple people on Goodreads that I follow for thrillers like it. So I thought I'd pick it up. And then I got the new Peter Swanson book, Nine Lives. I love the texture of this book. I'm hoping I love the book. Um, again, this person, Tara, is part of my Patreon, actually. So thank you, Tara, for leaving me the note and letting me buy your book and letting me add to my collection of books I don't need. <laughs> but I am. Oh, wow. I'm gonna hopefully read this soon. And then the last thing I got is Heartstopper Volume 2. This is the Fairy Loot Edition. Is it signed? Yes, it is. It's signed. And I just, I love this series so much. I have the first one, obviously like this. It's got the metallic edges. I just wanted the special edition because I wanted it signed and can't turn down a hardcover. But all of those books you just saw are actually going to be on uh, the, that, is it Rattan bookshelf that I got? That's in the, it's the round one that I've shown you before in the kind of hallway-ish area by the kitchen. Um, Lexi, my friend Lexi, bestie you got to me, uh, uploaded a video where she was putting up new bookshelves for TBR specifically. And I have this one that y'all are sitting on in my bedroom. That's just a bunch of random books that truly I don't know where to put them and I don't know if they're gonna be staying in the collection. So they're kind of just hanging out in here. But I think I'm gonna turn, because I was just turning to my mom yesterday. I don't know what to do with that bookshelf. I don't know if I should turn it into a bookshelf. I don't know if I should try to decorate it. So what I'm gonna do is what Lexi did in that video. So I'll link it if you have not watched it. You absolutely should, it's a fantastic video. Um, I'm going to do a very like decor style TBR shelf situation. And I'm excited to do it because I think when I have all the books I wanna read in one section, it's kind of like going to the bookstore almost where you can go like shop your own shelves and pick out a book and like go sit down with it and read it. I just think it's gonna be very exciting. So I'm gonna have like a thriller shelf, a YA shelf, and then a mystery shelf. No, not mystery shelf. Cause my cozy mysteries are mainly on my Kindle a fantasy shelf. I think those are the three I'm gonna do. And the bottom ones I'll have like some baskets with, you know, blankets in it or something. And then at the top I'll have more heavy decor stuff and maybe just like some books that I really like. Or I got um, these little holder things that she got for hers that you like display books on, you know, like a bookstore has those. And I'm gonna put up, I know for sure I'm gonna put the Illumicrate edition of Empire. <gasps> Whoa, I didn't know this had thumb holes. Wish it wasn't hot because I'd wear this while I work out, but it is. So this is coming off as soon as this camera has been updated. But um, what was I saying? Getting distracted is so easy and yet so hard. For no, you two now? Okay, understood. Heard. Oh, I'm gonna definitely put the Illumicrate edition of Empire of the Vampire there because I do wanna read it soon. And it's a beautiful cover, like that white. And it goes with kind of the theme I'm doing because I don't want that shelf to be too busy and too much color. And you know, book spines have a lot of color. 
So I'm going to make them um, a little more muted by all the decor that's on there. Just kind of go with the theme of like this brassy gold look and then the very earthy tones with plants and stuff and just try to keep it minimal in that area. Honestly, it's probably gonna match my partner's aesthetic more than mine, but yes, that's the plan. I'm very excited for it. Uh, a lot of the stuff I ordered off Amazon will be here tomorrow. So my question to you is, should I do a TBR bookshelf setup video inspired by Lexi or should I just put it in a vlog? Let me know down below what you would prefer because I just did the organizing my bookshelves, but I don't have a problem doing another one because I think that's fun and I've never done it before. So I think it might be fun to do as an experiment together and then check in in like six months or whatever and see if having them all in one spot actually did help or if it didn't help, you know? So yeah, let me know. I would be more than willing and very excited to do that. I just want to know if like there's interest in it. Um, but for now, I know that the guy is coming by today to get the gutters. Well, to give us an estimate about gutters, which I'm just going to be like, yeah, I mean, we need them. So good estimate, dude. And uh, that's going to get set up. And then I'm going to walk on the treadmill. And oh, <laughs> Mel last night made me uh, re-download Wattpad. Not like gun to head type thing, but kind of. <laughs> But I am in the middle of a Bucky trilogy on Wattpad and live in La Vida Loca, as the girls would say. I truly am. Uh, I also download some Peaky Blinders and some Strange Scarlet. Currently looking for Winter Widow because that is my OG OTP. Uh, but yeah, yeah. I saw Morbius and I just wanted fan fiction of that because I was like, you know what? I feel like I trust the internet fan fiction writers to write that better. Like they could have just rewritten the script for them. So I'm currently looking to fulfill that void. Uh, there's nothing out yet, but don't worry. Once there is, I'll tell you. Watch me become like a secret by night fanfic writer for Morbius. I, I won't put it past me. I really wouldn't. I would not. Don't, don't put it past me because those days ended in 2014, but we can make a revival tour. Uh, but okay, I'm gonna actually go like walk now. So I will see you later. And uh, yes, yeah, let's go, let's go and do it. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? From so far away, show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? It really makes me wonder. Thank you. 